Uh, we're very pleased now to be joined by Jake Locker, the quarterback of the Tennessee Titans. Jake, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Oh, doing fantastic. Hey, good Jake, to see good you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Nice, uh, n- nice turnout here, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been a great day so far. We've had uh, great support everywhere we've been, and um, it, it's just been awesome. It's, it's cool to see the the fan support that we have so far away from uh, our home base there in Nashville. It's, it's great, man. It's awesome. Did it surprise you at all? It did a little bit. Just... Uh, um, you know, in Seattle, it's uh, uh, there's so many people right there in the nucleus of Seattle. That's kind of the team I grew up around. So they have a large fan base there, and, and sometimes, it, you know, the farther out you get, the uh, less support you get. And it doesn't seem that way here. It's, it's, it seems like everybody's just as gung-ho over here as they are right there in Nashville. So it's awesome. So it's not seen as Nashville's team. It is seen as the state of Tennessee's team. Yeah, and yeah. I think we've we've been um, out of the state as well. I, you know, that's the, where we're located. There's not a, a another professional team that's that's right there, real close. Mm-hmm. So I think we're able to to recruit a large fan base, which is awesome. Jack, who has better questions, adults or kids? I think the kids. They they give you the honest <laughs> questions. They, they, they want to know about your dog. They want to know about you know. All the, they want to. They they ask the uh, oddball questions. That's for sure. Well, what, what what kind of dog do you have? I got two chocolate labs. Okay. Yep. Very nice. Now the uh, the this caravan. You've seen you've seen a lot of you're seeing things. You're going to see a lot of different things. Is there anything strange that you have seen that you a uh, no, wow moment so far on the caravan? Um, I don't know if there's anything. Anything wild? Um, we. Uh, me and Rob, we got mixed. We had a, a a lady mix us up. She thought I was Rob and thought Rob was me, so she told me to keep making kicks and told Rob to start throwing touchdowns. So we just kind of rolled with it, but uh, that's probably the craziest thing so far. We had a fan come up to our table earlier and say, man, that locker's a moose. Uh, 6'3", 234 is what you're listed. How accurate is that? Um, I, I, that was, I don't weigh quite that much anymore. I probably weigh 230. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's about right. <laughs> Jake, what kind of arm does Baronis have? <laughs> well, he, he messes around with us before practice a little bit. But uh, I think he's got a better leg than he's got an arm. So we'll, we'll keep him kicking. Can you kick? No, no, I can't say this. I can't say I could uh, put one through the uprights. <laughs> I want to take you back to uh, a little over a year ago, draft day. Was that nerve wracking for you to to sit around waiting, the uncertainty about when you yeah. might be picked, who might take you? I think that was the toughest part, the, the, the uncertainty of it. You just uh, you go through three months of um, the longest job interview in your life. You, uh, uh, it seems like every day you're talking, meeting with somebody else, talking to somebody else, trying to convince them why you're the right guy for their job. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it was a, there was a lot of nerves built up to that day and then such a sense of relief um, once you got picked and found out where you were going. And for me, knowing it was coming here to this organization, to this town, to this community, um, to this state, uh, it, it was awesome. It was a, 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 a comforting feeling, definitely. During the interview process, how much of it was them interviewing you versus maybe at times you interviewing them? Uh, I, it's, I think it, it is more them interviewing you just because, uh, I, you know, I didn't really have the choice where I went. Um, at the end of the day, they, they had the picks and, and the fate rests in their hands. And so they, they, they want to know about you. They want to find out who you are and what you're all about and, and what kind of player and, and person they're going to be getting because you're so – you're in such a public eye now, everybody is, that gets the opportunity to play that uh, it's not only what you can do on the field but also off the field. Were you trying to sell yourself or just be yourself? No, I'm just trying to be myself. I, um, you know, I, I'm confident in who I am and, and the beliefs that I have and, and the, the player and the person that I am. And so I, I didn't feel like I needed to sell myself to anybody. I just was going to be who I was. I was going to be honest and tell you the truth. And if you liked me, great. If you didn't, I, you know, I don't want to play for somebody who doesn't like me anyway. So... How much did you watch the draft before you were drafted in, in years before that, and did you watch it this year? Oh, yeah, I've watched it. Uh, I'm a football fan. I always have been. So it's, some, it's something that I've always paid attention to. Um, and, and no more the year I was getting drafted than the, any years before or after. So I paid attention to it this year. Uh, it's something that I like to follow just as a fan. Who's the biggest workout freak, weight room freak on the Tennessee Titans? Uh, Malcolm Shepard, probably. He's uh, number 96. He's... He's an animal, man. He's got uh, – he just goes and goes and goes. He's, his strength is unbelievable. Is there anything from the co- scouting combines that translate 
that that you feel like in in everyday practice, you know, whether it's uh, not the forty, but any of the drills that you saw guys do in the combines, how much of that translates into everyday practice? You think? Um, I, you know what the combine does is it allows you to see a skill set that a player possesses. It allows you to see um, their athletic ability, their um, somewhat their intelligence. It allows you to an insight into a few of those things. But at the end of the day, um, there's a lot of guy, a lot of really fast guys. There's a lot of guys that look really good in, in a cutoff sleeve and shorts. Um, but when it comes down to it, you want the guys that when they put the shoulder pads on, um, play like they look, play like they run. Um, you want the guys that are going to go in and, and not afraid to take a hit or give a hit. And, and that's something that you can't test. It's hard to test without playing the game of football. So that's why I think you'll constantly hear teams say, you know, this guy moved up because of his uh, uh, combine workout because we didn't know he was this fast or we didn't know he was this strong. Um, but ultimately, it's the, it's the game film that they study throughout the course of the year and leading up to the draft. That's why guys are drafted where they are um, because, you know, on Sundays, that's what you got to do. Speaking of looking good, what do you think of those new Nike jerseys? Um, I like them. You know, we wore them in, uh, in college. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Nike guy. You know, I'm, a, I'm with Nike. I, I really like their product. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about it. I guess Jake Locker, Tennessee Titans quarterback. Jake, how much better prepared do you think you'll be going into year two in the NFL as opposed to your rookie season? Uh, you know, it, it's so much different just because last year we had the lockout. So it was basically camp and you're two weeks and we're into our first preseason game. You're doing game plans. Um, it was just kind of uh, here's everything, kind of a crash course, you know. And now it's we get the off season to really kind of focus in on certain aspects of our offense, of our playbook, and uh, become really comfortable with it. So I'm excited about that process and, and uh, how much more comfort we'll have within the offense come fall. Did you find that the scheme with the Titans was considerably more complex than your scheme with Washington? Um, you know, that's one thing that uh, I think really benefited me was the style of offense that we ran with Coach Sarkeesian. He was uh, a guy that had been to the NFL, um, coached in the NFL, um, does a good job of translating what a lot of teams in the NFL do into college. Because mm-hmm. um, obviously you're, you're, you're able to do different things in college you can't do in the pros. And uh, he did that, you know, for us to win games. But he also incorporated a lot of NFL principles and concepts um, that translated well, especially protections um, and, and some of the concepts, route concepts that we ran. Um, there might be terminology might be different. But the, the concepts and the ideas behind the plays stay pretty similar. And uh, that's one thing that I was thankful for. Titans were 9-7 and seven a year ago on the cusp of making the playoffs. What do you have to do to take that next step? Uh, you know, I, I, I think that uh, we've got to win a couple close ball games. You look, at our, you look at our season last year, and we were 9-7, and seven, but I think we easily could have been 11-5. Uh, and five. You mm-hmm. look at uh, uh, three or four games where it came down to the last, you know, five, six minutes, and... Uh, if we can find ways to to make plays when we didn't or um, avoid mistakes when we had them, um, I think you're looking at, at a couple more wins, and then who knows what happens at that point. We're, we're in the playoffs, mm-hmm. and, and uh, any, at that point, it's, it's anybody's game. I just saw your preseason schedule for the first time. First preseason game. I think you know where you're going yeah. at Seattle. You gonna have a, a welcome back, Jake Locker a parade? Uh, on I, do, I mean, we'll have a lot of family and, <laughs> and friends at the game. I know that, and uh, it'll be cool to be able to go and play in front of them. What do you do in Nashville when you're when you're either not training, when you're not training, when you're not at home, sleeping and resting, and and uh, uh, what are you doing around town in Nashville that, that you like to do? Um, I like to be outdoors. I like to be outside, and and uh, uh, it's so beautiful here. Um, it, it's awesome. There's a lot of. Uh, uh, great outdoor things to do. Um, I spend time with my wife and and uh, you know so, a few of my buddies. It's uh, I just kind of like to be around the people that uh, um, I love and care about and, um, and, and enjoy the outdoors. Enjoy what uh, Tennessee has to offer. You talked about the playbook. How often do do you just sit on the couch and bust it out and start looking through it? How often are you looking through it when you're on, on your own time? Um, yeah, there's. It, it, it helps to kind of go through what you're going to go through the next day, um, and especially once you get into camp. Uh, right now, we're we're putting a lot of the stuff in that we had put in last year. So, like I said, it's more on a day-to-day basis, going over 
um, little details that maybe we didn't have the opportunity to cover because it wasn't uh, relevant to us in our season last year, but now it might be helpful going forward. I um, guess. I'm sorry? No, yeah, that's great. Uh, What's that? Jake Locker, Tennessee Titans quarterback. I know that every game is on TV, but the Titans have a couple of primetime games this year. Do the players get more excited about those? Uh, yeah, I mean, every game is important whether it's on primetime TV or not. Um, it counts towards your record. And so um, I, I don't know if there's any more importance put on them, but it's an opportunity for uh, your peers, for the other guys in the league that maybe you played with in college or you played with on another team earlier in your career. Uh, to have the opportunity to watch you and, and uh, you know, wow them a little bit, I guess. And, and um, you know, we're all competitive, and, and, and you want to have you want to be able to go out and, and uh, um, have good performances when you know a lot of people are watching. In what area of your game do you feel like you need to improve in year two in the NFL? Um, you know, for me, it's just continuing to, to hone in on a little of the fun, few of the fundamental things and then uh, um, just mastering the offense better. And, and like I said, I think that having this offseason – uh, set up like it is will allow allow me to do that a little bit better. How much are you involved during the week when they're setting up the game plan for a specific opponent? Uh, how much input do you feel like you have in, in, in trying to set up and prepare for an opponent? Um, you know, we we get uh, we get the opportunity to look at the look at the plays that are going in, look at some of the ideas that we have, um, talk about where we think we can attack an opponent week in and week out, and. Um, you know, that's what's been great working with Matt is he's been in the league so long. Um, he has gone through so many different game plans that um, he understands how to attack certain looks, how to attack certain uh, coordinators and that sort of thing. And that's something that I, I think uh, really helped me as a young player last year, just watch and listen to some of the, the things that he had to say as far as the game plan and um, that's something that I, again, this year look forward to, to learning from again. Hey, Jake, we appreciate it. Great right. to catch up with you. Thank you so much for visiting with us. Best of luck to you and the Titans this season. Thank you, guys. I nice appreciate it. You, Jake. Appreciate Thank you, Jake. All right, All right Jake Locker, Tennessee Titans quarterback, uh, part of the Titans caravan here.